Hi, my name is Sam Boyer. I'm the owner of City Steel Heat Treating. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about lug nuts. We've got some lug nuts here. That's with JDM. These are uh, made out of some of the finest steel you can get for making lug nuts. Um, as the owner of City Steel, we do a lot of heat treating. We do a lot of uh, steel heat treating. We specialize in that. We do a lot of commercial work. We do a lot of uh, car work, automotive. for making lug nuts. Uh, for people that don't know a lot about steel, there's two kinds of steel. There's the kind of steel you can heat, that you can heat treat, which would be this, which is like 4130. Uh, you make gears out of it, make axles out of it, just about anything that needs to be heat treated in the car. And then the other kind of steel is most every other kind of steel. Make buildings out of it, uh, make car cables out of it, make whatever, but you can't heat treat it. You can heat treat it all day long, but it does not get hard. Steel does not get hard, it's not strong, and it's not tough. Uh, apparently there's some guys that may make a lug nut out of just plain steel. Steel's pretty strong stuff, but it's a lot better when you heat it. So what we do here at the City Steel is we're going to take this steel, it's in an annealed condition when Password JDM works on it. Uh, anneal means it's soft, that means they can machine it, they can get all the right tolerances and dimensions that are important. And then they bring it over here. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this steel, and I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to heat it up to about 15, 1600 degrees. And we're going to do what they call austenitize it, which is to put it in a condition where it's ready to be quenched. Okay, once we get it hot, it's red hot. And it's typical, people kind of relate that to horseshoes. You see a guy with a horseshoe drops in a bucket of water. Same kind of thing, only we're going to take the lug nut, we're going to heat it up to red hot. And then in a controlled manner, in a furnace, we're going to drop it into oil, which is going to give us that quench. Once we do that, it uh, basically freezes the material, uh, gives it a metallographic transformation, and at that point, the steel becomes extremely hard. When it's extremely hard, it's very strong. Um, at that point, it's so strong, if you dropped it on the floor, you might even break it. It's very brittle. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to temper it down because we don't want it breaking. Uh, so at that point, we'll take it out of the furnace, take it out of the oil, clean it up, uh, we get all the oil off of it, we put it into a tempering furnace, and what we do there is we hold it for about eight or 900 degrees for a number of hours. And what that does is that it brings the hardness of the steel down a little bit, so should, now you have a very hard piece of steel that's very strong, but it's also very tough. Okay, you drop it on the floor, hit it with a hammer, do whatever you want to do to it, it's not going to break. And it is significantly stronger than any piece of steel you might find on a building up or something. Okay, it's typical of what's in a gear, what's in a pole, the kind of things that we depend upon to keep things working in this world. So now what I'm going to do is I'll take you back. I mentioned the uh, heat treating furnace when we get it up to really hot temperature. I mentioned the oil. I'll show you that furnace. And then when we get done with that, I'll walk you over. I'll show you the uh, tempering furnace, which is what makes it tough, softens it up just enough. And then after that, I'll show you the hardness machine where we actually check it to make sure that the exact property is what we're looking for. All right? Okay, so here we are. Here we have a typical heat treating furnace. Uh, heat treating furnace. It's got a hot zone on one end. It goes up to 1,800 degrees. The blood duct bowl is going to maybe 15 to 1,600 in that range. It's got a hot side right here. Uh, it has an atmosphere inside the furnace. See the plate coming out the top. What that does is that protects the material, makes sure we keep the carbon content exactly where we want it. Once we get the, once we get the nuts up to the right temperature, then they're ready to be quenched. At that point, we're going to move them through this furnace. It happens automatically. Move into this side of the furnace over here. There's an oil tank down here. Once the parts come in, they drop into the oil certain amount of time, they have to get into the oil within about 10 seconds. It's very similar to throwing that horseshoe in the bucket of water. you got to do it immediately to get the properties you're looking for. Okay. Once that happens, they sit in the oil until they cool down almost to room temperature. And then we bring them up, we drain them off, clean them off, and we run them over and we wash them all off. Once they're washed off, once they're washed off, they're ready to be tempered. As I mentioned before, once they come out of this furnace, they're hard. Maximum hardness, drop them on the floor, you might even break one. 
No, they're not really useful yet. We've got to get them to the right properties for the lug nuts. So at that point, we're going to take them over here to one of the temporary furnaces. apply a diamond penetrator to the part and we're going to put a weight on that penetrator and then we're basically going to measure how far that penetrates into the part okay and then by using the gauge here and the calibrations on our machine we'll know exactly what the hardness is now we're not going to be able to get hardness on this part because it's a meal but i'll show you how the machine works so we put it in there like that bring the machine around the final adjustment on it. It applies the load. We lift the load back off. It comes around and it tells us what the Rockwell hardness is. Now this is an annealed part, so we're only about 18 or 19, which is exactly what we would expect for 4130. Once we get done, this will swing down around here. It'll be up in a more like 38, 39. Good combination of toughness and strength. That's pretty much it. At that point, we're going to package these up. Send them back over to Password, call it a day.